Let's talk about the Chiefs' first day of training camp for rookies and quarterbacks. Mahomes and Andy Reid speak into the media, where Chris Jones gets brought up briefly as well as a couple of injury updates. But first, how about those? First up, it is officially training camp time for the Kansas City Chiefs, and all I got to say about that is we made it through the little dry pockets of the offseason that we had this year, which hasn't been much considering the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, did the whole tour, there's no pandemic, all that good stuff. So they got to experience all of it in its fullness. It's been absolutely lovely, but for now, at least, reporting today, which is going to be Tuesday, July 18th, is quarterbacks, rookies, and select injured veterans. They showed up to St. Joe today with other veterans starting to sprinkle in soon, but they are not required to be there until Saturday. Andy Reid said OTAs has been a good time to get the foundation started, but training camp is the time to really fortify the foundation and build upon it to get ready for the season. And when Andy Reid was asked what keeps him motivated year after year after year, coach said, visiting with you guys, which was obviously sarcasm, but his serious answer is that he still really loves the game and it's as simple as that. And he loves it so much that he even takes some work with him on vacation. Listen, I mean, I take my work with me and I spend a couple hours a day working on things on that time. I, mean, I enjoy doing that. So, you know, some people read novels, I look at plays. <laughs> well, there you go, another Andy Reid quotable, maybe one for the ages. Anyway, Mahomes then said, he's always going to continue working on himself, striving to get better in every way possible, and then prepping everyone else with the goal of making it back to and Winning another Super Bowl, quote, that moment, that feeling is something you want to grab every single time you get the opportunity, end quote. This offseason has been incredible for the team, to say the least. I mentioned it earlier, but they got to travel everywhere and do a bunch of media that they did not really get to do after winning Super Bowl 54 due to things starting to shut down because of the pandemic. And the biggest thing that's changed for Patrick in regards to camp now compared to the beginning is that it's a bit tougher for him to be away from his kids. He drove away today and watched them wave to him from the window, and he said that was indeed not easy, but he is here and focused up with the goal to motivate guys to continue to get better at camp. And even though the Chiefs are often winning games, he said he wants the guys never to be satisfied and to take advantage of every opportunity, especially with the AFC being absolutely stacked as a conference. Andy Reid is someone who is well aware of how tough the league can be, and he doesn't seem overly concerned about winning back-to-back -back Super Bowls. What I mean by that is he's here to take it one day at a time, getting the little things right, the fine details with the team, focusing on the here and now week by week rather than looking ahead to the future. But I mean, of course, it's always Super Bowl or bust, which should realistically be every team's goal every single season, even though many of them are not gonna make it there for quite some time. And then the QB documentary, simply called Quarterback, is still number one on Netflix and Mahomes is happy to see its success, saying it's been great for him personally to see Marcus and Kirk's part as well to get a behind the scenes look of how those guys do things um, with their prep, nutrition, spending time with family, all that good stuff. And then Big Red said he hasn't watched the QB documentary. He probably never will, if we're gonna be honest, but he worked through things with the team prior to its release. So he knows a gist of what's in there, at least for the Chiefs. And he's also happy it's doing well. He did say, though, his wife watched it and she loved it. And his trust in Peyton Manning's vision early on is why he gave them access to things he typically would not. And for some quick injury updates, Patrick Mahomes said his ankle feels great. He was timid earlier during OTAs, called it a lack of confidence on it. But once they got to mandatory minicamp, veteran minicamp, he said he was feeling pretty good and will be working on it even more during training camp. And then basically said, in summary, he's got the confidence in it back and is in a good spot with it. So, hey, good news there. Thank God, no more ankle watch, hopefully. And then the only two injuries that Andy Reid himself mentioned were regarding defensive end Turk Wharton, who tore his ACL in October of last season, and running back Isaiah Pacheco. More on Pacheco in a moment, but first for Turk Wharton, Andy Reid said that he's going to start Chiefs camp on the pup list, and basically what that means is he will still count toward the 90-man roster and will be allowed to participate in Chiefs team meetings, do solo conditioning, and work with the team training staff, but he will not be allowed to practice with the team as long as he remains on the list, and if he remains on the pup list through training camp, Wharton will then be sent to the reserve pup list to start the season, and will have to miss at least four games before a 21-day activation window starts and he can officially return to practice, and from there, Turk will either be activated to the 53-man roster sometime within that 21-day period, or placed on injured reserve. Then, the next player mentioned, as I said just prior, was running back Isaiah Pacheco, who had a couple of off-season surgeries, with the biggest one being his shoulder. He got his 
labrum fixed up. I've had two of those surgeries and they freaking suck. Anyway, Andy Reid said they will just have to see about Isaiah Pacheco and how he's doing with his shoulder recovery. Quote, I think we will have enough time for Pacheco to be ready by the regular season, but he still needs to talk things over with Pacheco, who he hasn't seen in a while, as well as the team's head trainer and VP of Sports Medicine and Performance, Rick Burke Holder on all that and begin to see how things are really going. And therefore, Pacheco could possibly start camp on the pup list, but there's a chance he may not. Either way, I'm hopeful that he won't have to start the season on the reserve pup list. And while that's it for the injuries, the most pressing question for nearly all of Chiefs Kingdom has to do with defensive tackle Chris Jones, whom everyone is waiting for a long-term extension to get done and announced, hopefully any day now. And Coach was asked if he plans on Chris Jones attending training camp, and he responded saying, I don't know, we will just have to see about that, but there's communication going on and that's the important part. So y'all's guess is as good as mine. I would assume that we don't see him at all until a deal gets done. And if a deal for some reason does not get agreed upon by both sides, I still do not think we see Chris Jones around until those negotiations are 100% for sure exhausted and finished. And I think either way it goes, he's gonna show up to training camp. The question is just simply, when? I mean, last year Orlando was in a bit of a different situation, but was still not at camp. And after not getting a long-term deal worked out, he eventually showed up August first. And so hopefully that's around the latest we see Chris Jones arrive in St. Joe. And with all that being said, where are you guys currently leaning on the Chris Jones situation? Do you think a deal will get done sooner than later? I mean, I sure hope so. And then what about Isaiah Pacheco and his shoulder? How are you currently feeling about that and the running back room overall with that in mind? Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about those? Yeah.